Hmm, good. Moving now to the next sum, it says 289% of 58.8 minus 36.1% of 526 plus 58.33% of 1188 equal to x. So, find the value of x and your options are given on the board. Ma'am, solving the three parts one by one. First part is 289% of 58.8. Um, Sawali, immediately you should be thinking of percentage equivalence. Like 1 by 17 is 5.88 and 1 by 19 is 5.26. Can't you recall these figures? Yes, ma'am. Now I remember. Sorry. Sawali, you have to revise these things every now and then. How else will you remember then? Ma'am, from now, I will revise it regularly. But let me try this anyway. It says 289% of 58.8. Or we can say 58.8% into 289. And 5.88% is 1 by 17, as you reminded me. So it will be 10 into 5.88% of 289. Or 10 into 1 by 17 of 289 that is 10 by 17 into 289 and I know 17 square is 289 so it means 10 into 17 that is 170 correct ma'am yes go now to the second part yes ma'am 36.1% of 526 is same as 526% of 36.1. So, it will be 100 into 5.26% of 36.1. And now, as I remember, that percentage equivalent of 1 by 19 is 5.26%. So I get 100 into 1 by 19 into 36.1 and 19 square is 361. So it will be 100 into 1.9 that is 190. And then we come to third part. It says 58.33% of 1188 and 58.33% of 1188 is, um, yes, it is 33.33% plus 25% of 1188. That is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 of 1188 or 7 by 12 into 1188 equal to 7 into 99 that is 693. So my final calculation will be 170 minus 190 plus 693 or minus 20 plus 693 or 673 which matches with option number 1. My answer. Well done Sawali. Let's have some more sums. Question 